German company Kuber, founded in 2007, has a lineup that includes many peripherals, from CPU coolers to keyboards, and even gaming chairs. While companies like Nocta are known for their plain brown colors, Cougar is known for having orange accents in many of its products, and especially for its orange fans. We have Cougar's new Forza 85 on our test bench, which features a thick single tower radiator. Is the Forza 85 capable of taming Intel's 12,900K and earning a spot on our best CPU coolers list? We'll have to put it through testing to find out, but first here are the specifications. Direct from Cougar. Cooler installation. Installing the Cougar Forza 85 was simple. To begin, you secure the backplate against the motherboard using the standoffs and mounting brackets. After applying thermal paste, press the heatsink against the mounting brackets and tighten the screws attached to the heatsink. You'll need a long Phillips head screwdriver in order to install the cooler, as one of the mounting screws is accessible only by putting the screwdriver through the radiator. Cougar does include a screwdriver for this in the box, although it's a black screwdriver housed in the black protective foam packaging around the cooling tower. So make sure you don't throw it out before installing the cooler. What's different than other coolers? The Forza 85 has a thick tower radiator, measuring 85x 135mm, to transfer heat from the CPU. The heatsink was designed with a 90-degree flip shape on the ends of the fins, which closes air from the sides of the radiator. Theoretically, this results in the ends of the cooler having different air pressure levels, which boosts airflow for maximized cooling. Unlike many large air coolers, the Forza 85 is only 106 m, 6.3 inches in height. This means it can be installed in most cases available without any problems being caused by height incompatibilities. There's more to a cooler than just its size and surface area. The fans have a huge impact on cooling performance and noise levels. Included with the Forza 85 is a single black 120mm H-120 fan with a strong 4.20 form H2O static pressure. A unique feature of this fan is that it has a built-in fan splitter, which will come in useful if you decide to add another fan to the other side of the cooler. New Testing Configuration I'll be testing a Cougar Forza 85 with Intel's Core in an E12900K. Due to the increased thermal density of the Intel 7 manufacturing process, as well as changes to core and component layouts, all the lake CPU are more difficult to cool than previous generation CPU in the most heat intensive of workloads. This means that coolers that kept previous generation products like the Inini 10900K nice and cool sometimes struggled to keep Intel's Inini 12900K under TJ Maxx, the top temperature before the CPU starts to throttle. Many coolers I've tested aren't able to keep the Inini 12900K under TJ Maxx when power limits are removed in workloads like Cinebench and OCCT. Please note there are many factors that can influence your cooling performance. A system's motherboard can influence this, as there are motherboards on the market with CPU sockets that are not up to Intel spec, which can cause warping or poor contact with the CPU. The case you use will also influence cooling results. Testing Methodology To test the limits of a cooler's thermal dissipation capabilities, I run two primary stress tests, Cinebench and OCCT each for 10 minutes. While this may be a short amount of time, it is sufficient to push most coolers, air and liquid, to their limits. While stress testing in Cinebench, I run both with power limits removed and with an enforced 200W CPU power limit. In this test setup using MSI 690 Pro DDR4 motherboard and Be Quiet Silent Base 802 CASI, only the best coolers are able to pass Cinebench testing when power limits are removed. I hope you found this video helpful, it's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.